which is why many of them are Trump supporters, or at least clo- you know some closeted Trump supporters, is because guess who's going to give them tax breaks? And there's people listening right now that work for somebody, and your, your nice little salary is super nice, and they've got you believing that it's in your best interest with your little salary. To vote Republican. You ain't even making enough money for it to matter for you. Okay, so this is my number one thing. This was actually going to be my thing. I didn't know you were going to go here. Yeah, go ahead. My, my congrats was going to be, and you could probably help provide some context because you pay more attention probably to economic stuff than I do. When I meet people who are, you know, the people I'm talking to are in the room with me. I'm not talking the wealthiest elite. I'm talking... Right. Well, let's, let's put a number on it. Do they make more than $400,000 a year? No. Okay, boom. Okay. And you're telling me that the only re- way that you vote and the only thing that you care about is taxes, money, and the market. I, I just want to hit them with the button every single time. Congratulations. Well, I'm like, wait a second. You don't, you don't care. So you, real quick, you don't care about the tone. You don't care about women's rights. These are people with children. You don't care about the world that your kids and grandkids are going to grow up in. You only care about the bottom line, and you don't even make enough money for it to impact you. <laughs> Hold this button. Congratulations. <laughs> you played yourself. What? I'm like, I didn't know you had a billion-dollar corporation I didn't know about. What are we talking about? <laughs> This happens all the time. I, yeah, I'm just, I just care about the money, man. I just care about the markets. I, and I look at them and I'm like, well, why the market, are you sitting? The markets are doing, well, the markets have been breaking records all last week. I don't know if y'all are paying attention. Right, if, exactly. if that's what you're paying attention to, the markets have been breaking up records and record highs and corporate. By the way, and if you really pay attention to it, you look at corporations' earnings reports. They've been making money hand over fist, too. You know why? Because they've been price gouging us since the pandemic. Which is why the prices of things have, are higher. It's because yeah. first the claim was, what was it? Uh, 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 supply chain. Remember supply chain issues. That was, oh, I remember those, yeah. Supply chain issues. <laughs> then the claim was, you know, we, we lost so much money during the pandemic. We're trying to get back in the, in the black. You know, we want to. Money was down. We was trying to get back. So what's the claim now? Right. That all the earnings have come out. Everybody made a bunch of money. And so I, I, I do pay a little bit of attention to this. And so what ends up happening is if you get accused of price gouging in your corporation, then they investigate you. That takes years, bro. That's not like a lickety split thing. So by while all that investigating is going on, you know what they're doing? Making mad money that they're going to use to pay some of the fines that they may get if the federal government comes down on them. So they end up making money either way. And then later on, they'll lower the prices. And then whoever the president is will get credit for the fact that the prices went down a little bit. And usually they'll do that when it's a GOP president because that GOP president is going to give tax breaks to corporations. So did they have to pay a fine? But then they got a tax break anyway on the other side. So right. we talking, I still made money. But are the prices less for the people concerned? <laughs> that's, that's, all, that's, all that that's all that matters. That's all that matters. That's all they care about. Right. So hit me with the button for trying to explain something to people <laughs> exactly. that they don't give a damn about. Right. At the end of the day, is the cereal less money so I can feed my kids right well, now? And here go the other jokes that that people probably forgot. Remember they were raising the minimum wage everywhere? Yeah. And we talked about in this program, hey, guys, don't get too hyped because when they raise the minimum wage, all they're going to do is raise prices anyway. Fact. So it's going to be a wash. <laughs> so you right. basically didn't make any more money because things just started costing more. Right. I can't take it. Well, I can't take it. Yeah. And then, and then the funniest thing is the funniest thing is about the the Trump crowd, bro. We get the comments all the time of that we're sheep. Yeah, that's the, that's what makes me laugh the most too. Well, if I'm a sheep, what are you? Yo, we're we're sheep, and you vote for a guy who literally wouldn't even get near you. He'd be disgusted. He'd wave his hand in front of his nose like you're filth and walk away from you. And yet you think we're sheep for voting for the things that we think actually make sense in the belief system we have. By the way, um, the Democrats went into full upheaval not knowing what to do about their candidate because he was not sounding good on the microphone. 
Ultimately, that's what it was. I never heard one person of import say they actually thought Joe Biden would be incapable of doing the job. No, no, no. They thought we don't like how he's presenting. His presentation was bad. And it's a popularity contest. He's not looking good. Right. We need to do better. We need to find someone better because, sir, you've gotten old and you're just not presenting well. The whole party went into what are we going to do? They have had a full-blown lunatic who took their party hostage eight years ago, and no one has considered moving on from it. Every single person he's beefed with is lined up. Even when they announce, no, 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 don't, you know, when they quote-unquote turn, they always come back with their tail between their legs. Always. Every single one who ever did it. And, Laura, how about this? Here's my sneaky, my sneaky congratulations you played yourself to the Republicans right now. With all this talk about how Biden sounded and everyone being obsessed, have y'all heard your man Trump recently? I I hate to say this, uh, friends. He's kind of lost his fastball. He's slow. He's meandering. He's boring. He makes no sense. Ebro, he can't even do his greatest hits like he used to do. He's not funny. He's not compelling. He he did 90 minutes, bro. 90 minutes. He's always meandered. He's always just got up there and freestyled. He was definitely, definitely had some hot ones, though. Not this time around, but that's definitely falling off. That's what I mean. He's lost the fastball. That's definitely falling off. But remember, the GOP has, there's a lot of popularity with Trump. So whether they like it or not, there is a strong base of individuals that support Donald Trump. So they will line up. They're not going to risk losing their job to say many most of them there are some most of them will not risk losing their job to say hey i'm not standing with this especially right now with 90 days away from the election or whatever 120 days whatever it is matter of fact the vice president on the ticket of the gop used to call donald trump a nazi he's currently vice president on the ticket Right. And about, he called a bunch of other back. things, too. Yeah. They come back, Ebro. They come back. Always got to come back. Well, no, because they want the job. But that, but we can't act like Democrats don't talk issue about each other. and, and Not like that. Not, not, to the, not to the level. Nobody's called somebody's wife ugly. Yeah, and, well, that's because, you know I mean? yeah, that's because they wouldn't do that in the first place. Or like, for example, today, I see a headline in the New York Post. Donald Trump claims Joe Biden doesn't really have COVID. Yo, man, Hit the button, man. Stop, stop. Don't even explain. Hit the button. I'm going to use that, too. Hit the button. (laughs) You, 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 all of you that are okay with the fact that this guy said that a bullet pierced his ear and we've seen no evidence of it. And then everybody came out and was like, yo, you know, hope hope Donald Trump's okay. Hope the former president's okay. Most notably Biden. Biden Biden did it himself. Nothing but class. So then your guy, your guy is going to take time to jump up and say, we don't believe Biden had COVID. You're projecting, bro. Now I know. Now I know you didn't get shot. I know for a fact you didn't get shot. Hit the button again. I know for a fact. You played yourself. Because if you actually got hit with a bullet, you wouldn't even have done something like that. Nah, man. You couldn't. No. You couldn't. I don't believe you, you're, he's projecting a thousand percent. Yo, how how dare you? After all Biden did, he called you. He asked for prayers for your family. And by the way, I think he meant it. Like he really, he really was that decent about what happened to you. And then well, it all the same day, it wasn't even. It was just like it was instinctual. And, and then continued though, like the, in the days that followed. And then, and by then the this, way, you know what? You know what the 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 left or the Democrats have done none of. Play with the idea that this incident of the shooting and the death of two people and the firefighter, there has been zero mention from individuals who are actually on the job, on the Democratic Party, mention of any of the inconsistencies of this incident. They have not. They have spent zero time playing with this at all. Meanwhile, the party that actually was involved in a shootout, they're we- they're wearing fake bandages on their ears, selling T-shirts about it, playing with the whole idea of violence during. But Ebro, that's not enough. In addition to playing with it with the bandages on their ear, the man got up and now doubts that Biden has COVID, bro. They- there's no bottom. I don't know what to explain to you at this point. There there's isn't. no bottom. There 
But that's also why people like it, because it's messy, it's chaotic, it's nasty, it's negative, and they love it. They're eating it up. And for that, you get this. Congratulations. You played yourself.